So far we have seen that an inclined plane can be used as a simple machine. But if we have to raise a load that is very heavy compared to the effort available, then the mechanical advantage needed would be pretty large. And a plane that rises very gently will be needed. But such planes become too long and unwieldy. To make it compact without sacrificing the convenience or mechanical advantage, we can wind it or wrap it around a cylinder. Let us see what we will get. So here is our inclined plane and we are going to take only its top surface, the surface that is really doing the job of raising the load and we are going to wrap it around this cylinder. So let us set it in motion. So you can see the cylinder is rolling and the top edge of this inclined plane is getting wound on the cylinder and you would see a helix is getting formed and this is nothing but a thread that we usually see on threaded fasteners like nuts and bolts. So a nut and a bolt pair can be used as a substitute, a more compact substitute for an inclined plane and therefore it can also act like a simple machine. Here is the physical arrangement of a screw jack. A bolt is mounted vertically in a fixed support. Engaging with the bolt is a nut to which a long handle is provided at the end of which the effort can be applied. With help of the effort, the nut is rotated. As it rotates, it also moves upward in the axial direction, pushing this table on which the load is placed. So thereby the load is raised. Let us see the motion. You can see the effort is getting displaced around a circle. So its displacement will be 2 pi r if r is the radius of that circle. And the distance moved by the load in each uh, rotation is called L, the lead. So we can calculate the velocity ratio that is displacement of effort to displacement of load. It will be 2 pi r divided by L. The lead L is same as the pitch of the screw thread provided there is a single thread. Otherwise, the lead is equal to pitch multiplied by the number of threads the screw has. The velocity ratio is also the ideal value of mechanical advantage in absence of friction and other losses. So this is the maximum possible mechanical advantage. 